I don't think this was actually in the uh, original PC version either. This is one of the DLC cars or some crap. All right, I gotta be 249.78. So about 250 or so. I also remember when I did this last, uh, there was no boost to be had ever. Because I can go through here all day long and. Oh, I actually am getting boost. I'll, I'll take it. I don't understand the difference between driving 150 miles an hour to 200 miles an hour because apparently the difference between the BMW and this is astronomical. Oh god. Okay. I guess that's a thing when you're driving faster. There's a more there's a higher potential chance of going Anyway. Alright, <laughs> 249.78 again. Let's try that. Let's do this again. I know I shouldn't be in the left lane when I'm going over a crest of a hill, but NOS is NOS, so... Take it. I like how they basically throw you into a time trial already at... Already at <laughs> top speed. And I actually don't mind that at all, starting out races in this game where they have you, like... They give you a rolling start or something. It's... It at least makes it slightly different than most Need for Speed games where you're always starting at the start-finish line and going in a circle on a circuit or something. This thing's way too fast. Oh, man. Can't wait to get me some Lamborghinis! I actually thought I was going to wreck there. I'm surprised that the game didn't let me. I will take it, though. God. <laughs> Busy enjoying the environment, might I say. Um, yeah, I forgot to look at the fact that there are cars coming. Sorry. This is literally the only reason why they have these two random loop-de-loops in this track. It's just so you can do that. No reason other than to do that. And then when you're like, that was sick, I want to do that again. The game is like, we got you, fam. We have another one. I remember playing this earlier and looking at the time going, eight minutes, I'm only, excuse me, it was eight miles and I was only a minute in. I'm like, there's no way I can reach the end so in that time type thing. And then I got to that point and I'm like, 30 seconds for a mile easy even though you couldn't see the start finish line on the map you knew that it was going to be around the corner and you're just going to fly by it okay <laughs> it's by that's by 11 seconds there <laughs> what do i get super snake what other kind of maps? <laughs> no, I don't. I do like the auto lock feature, but <laughs> I don't want to just be. Hey guys, look at this guy because we all know that somebody who plays this game a lot more than me will be like, "Yeah, I beat that time by thirty seconds." Where the hell were you? Just... Apparently, not watching what you were doing. Ultimate road car. Let's do this. Part of the fun thing of Need for Speed Hopper Suit 2 was the McLaren F1. I didn't like the F1, I wanted the LM. Especially the fact that they had it in blue. But if they have a normal F1, I think I'm okay with settling with this. This game was the first game that showed me that the F1 actually has a freaking air brake. I've never seen it ever. And this game's just like, didn't you know that? We did. Like, I've seen so many videos of an F1 driving around without an air brake, and here it just is. Like, Alright, fine. I won't argue. Because you guys probably actually had to 3D scan in an F1 and get an audio record those beautiful exhaust notes, so I'm just gonna sit down. I love this part of the map, honestly. It is 
the scenery and these corners of just being able to do this back and forth with vehicles like this. This is what this game is about. Of course, if you add cops, then it really is what the game is about, but... If you disliked police and you wanted to play this game without playing against police, first of all, don't buy this game. That's that's not the point of it. It's called Hot Pursuit for a reason. But these these levels are very refreshing. When you're like, I don't want to beat up against cops and racers all day. I want to do. I want to play as a McLaren F1 and just rip through a mountain. We got you, fam. Okay, any cars coming up? Oh, I almost didn't see him. That was good. I was looking down here. Okay, I got a minute left to go three miles. 180 miles an hour. Divided by 60, so it's... 60 mile... I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I was trying to convert it to seconds. Well, here, it would be... 180 an hour divided by 60 gets me how many... a minute, so it's... 3 miles a minute. Oh. I'm right on time, then. And if I'm going any faster, I'm actually um, ahead of schedule. Yeah, I'm going to beat 304. Nice. <laughs> I love those animations where you just daisily drive along and just do the little skirt at the end. <laughs> After going 220 miles an hour to... Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Yes! Yes. So, maybe... You oh, that was the 09 model. Okay. Because the one that I remember at the dealership had, like, a front splitter and had canards, I think they're called, in the front, and then had, like, a little carbon fiber duck tail. It's really good. It's really cool. So, what's this one? The Prestige. Oh, it's just... It's just the name of the map. It's kind of that color blue, so I'll, I'll do this car. It's close enough. It's close. It's close enough to doing the career mode over again. But with just slight... There's less monotony to it because, um... I didn't have to do the exact same five events with the same slow as hell car. So I will... I'll take this. Okay, I think this is just a genuine race, no hot pursuit. Because I would have weapons by now. So let's enjoy the 13 miles of just... Nice, fair, clean driving. Oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> I knew that wouldn't last a lot. <laughs> oh. I wanted to switch back so we could get through that shortcut. That was not going to work the way that I wanted it to. And I'm slow. What's going on here? I'm in a Maserati. I should, do, I should be able to go faster. The handbrake is too sensitive on this vehicle, unfortunately. <laughs> you saw it coming a mile away. Oh, man. This is a problem. Because this is exactly what I remember dealing with a lot on the Switch version. No NOS. And everybody just kind of goes up there. Uh, yes, give me the slipstream. Give me the slipstream. See up. Yes, there we go. Nice drift. That looks like an Ultima from back here, if I'm honest. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing here? <laughs> I didn't realize you could play that car in this game. <laughs> I knew the DLC added a lot, but <laughs> an Ultima? 
There we go. Now we're catching up. I was looking for my horn. I found my headlights instead. I better stop screwing around with them. That actually... That actually hurts my visibility by a lot. Which I actually like that feature a lot. Where it's like... Eh, not, can't see a whole lot. That's like... Oh, there's everything. <laughs> headlights. They work. Excuse me. Oh, no. Oh. Oh! I still got five miles. I'll be all right. I hope. I like how laying on your horn. I like how they think laying on their horn is going to make a difference. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm. I. I didn't realize I was speeding against these other six people. I'll. I'll. I'll tone it down for you. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll reconsider my life decisions. Yeah, no. Uh, three miles to go? Here we go. Got it. Nice. Clean entrance. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, nice. Ouch. Ouch. Stop it! Stop ping-ponging! That's why shortcuts are slower sometimes. Pick up the pace, please. There are people coming. Actually, maybe this car's handling is sluggish, too. It's not... Steering is not very responsive, but the F1 was pretty good. And the Gunpowder Apollo. Definitely, definitely. Excuse me. Also, shortcuts aren't always shortcuts. This one is definitely not. I don't think I've ever been down it, and nor do I want to at this time. Now is not the time to go exploring. Now is the time to go win a race. Nice. Five minutes. 26 seconds. <laughs> I did that at 533. Huh. So, I, if I'm honest... Need for Speed, Criterion, Ghost Games, whoever. They all have some good ideas, sometimes, that are new, revolutionary. Um, the idea of Autolog, even when they announced it, I'm like, social media in a video game? What do you want me to, you can post your times to a wall. Okay. Fine. Do whatever you guys want. I kind of felt like that was going to be pretty quickly overlooked. However, the reason why I also overlooked it is because back in 2010 to circa 2019, I was the only one who ever played Need for Speed games. And it turns out I acquired some friends who have more recently started playing this. So my brother, of all people, I actually picked up Hopper Suit and I was not expecting that. Even though the, he did pick up Heat as well, which you've seen me enjoy Heat a lot, so go play it. It's a good game. Uh, but now it's really fun to be able to see like his times on certain races and be like, oh, that's what he was up to. Nice. Get, yeah, there you go. Time trial with police. Actually, I thought that was a pretty ni nice idea. Like... That's something you would not normally think about in racing games. It's just like, hey, I got a time trial. I should just go as fast as possible. But add police. Oh, you don't you don't want to be up here. Excuse me. Oh no. Again! I don't know why they're being so lenient with me today. That definitely would have killed me if I've done that on the switch. That's for sure. Ow. Excuse me. I think the key of this, too, is to get rid of the cops as soon as possible. Because as soon as you do that, then I think it's just back to the time trial again. Or they don't respawn in, I guess. Or maybe I didn't get to that part. 
or I destroyed one and then another one shows up later. I forget. I'm going... Thank you. I was going that direction, but apparently that cop was not letting me. So thank you for being in front of me so I could get rid of you. Like, I was just like, bruh. Just like, how could he? I don't know. Put your car in my way and I will hit it. <laughs> That's how this game works. Even though that really wasn't on the road, it was still a good drift. I can't do a mile in 20 seconds. Yeah, I may be doing... Well, yeah, that's technically on schedule if you're doing 180, so that should be all right. No, I'm not doing 180. Come on! Go, 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 go! Come on! No! No! I'm sorry I failed you. I failed you all. I called myself a Need for Speed fan. I have the logo tattooed on my uh, ankle. Look at me now. Just silver. 